So today I've been testing out this microphone uh, for use on cornet or trumpet. My normal um, system is to use an SM57 Shure microphone. Uh, I chose that because it can take high pressure, high sound pressure levels. It goes into a USB converter, which is the X2U from Shure. And that then normally goes into my mobile phone. And I record using a program called Filmic Pro, which allows me to set manual recording levels, not use automatic level control. So on my computer, uh, I thought I would try a USB microphone and I have this one, which is a condenser microphone and I normally use it for speech. It's got a stereo head in it. Uh, it's actually got four separate capsules in it and you can select different types of stereo patterns and things. So it is supposed to be able to take quite high sound pressure levels, but um, I will put up some graphics on the screen now to show how I've got this set. If you look at the back, you can see that one of these controls is for uh, selecting the pattern of the, ca of the stereo field, and the other one is gain. The gain on its own is not uh, sufficient to allow you to stop overdriving the microphone. You have to go into the Windows sound set device settings for microphone. So I have this set as my default microphone. And I have gone in and I have set the default level to 60% in sound settings. I'll put the graphic up showing that now. The other thing is that uh, I want to make sure that it's not overdriving. The easiest way to do that is to open it in Audacity and look at the waveform. So here is the waveform of me playing Mezzo 40 uh, into this microphone and you can see that it's not clipping at all and it's not showing any distortion. So I've done a couple of test recordings. These were recorded on the default Windows camera app because this microphone is set as the default one, it's picked up in that. Uh, I believe that records an AAC. I then imported that audio into Audacity for two reasons. Um, the first one being that condenser microphones have quite a high noise floor compared to dynamic microphones. So how you handle that is to use a noise gate. And Audacity has a noise gate that can take all that uh, extraneous noise during silences out of the equation. I also put a little bit of reverb on there because this, although it doesn't look like it, is actually quite a dead room. So it needs a tiny amount of reverb on there to make it sound reasonable. Um, I didn't put any compression on though. I, I, I tend to find that compression on trumpet is a good idea, a little bit of compression, but on cornet less so. So here are a couple of recordings and uh, I hope you find this interesting or not interesting. But this microphone, the AKG Lyra, um, is clearly workable for brass instrument recording, although it's not really why I have it. Uh, but I thought it was interesting to try it out. Bye for now.